Hey team, welcome back. So now that we have our, say, boilerplate React application, now we're going to start working on a few things that we need so we can move forward. Um, so right now my application is running. And where we left things at was that we were able to uh, already change the look and feel of the app that we get out of the box. Right? So. Uh, I'm just gonna close out of this for now because I don't. We're not gonna do much right now with it. Uh, I had this warning here, and I think this is basically because there's a logo that comes with the out of the box version of this. Uh, I think that is here in app.js. Yes, right here. But we don't really need this anymore, so I'm just gonna delete it from here, and I'm also gonna delete this because this is a super cool uh, React logo that comes with it. But we're not gonna do anything with it, so just just get rid of it. All right. So this in this course in this tutorial, I do want to move a little faster. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna npm install all of the dependencies that um, we need. Now in the course, we do install them like as we start using them. Here I do want to uh, install all all of them like upfront, so that we don't have to think about that. All right. So the first one that we're gonna install is Axios. So we're going to do npm, and remember, you need to be on the folder, the project board folder, for, on your React folder, right? So if you're in the in this folder, if you do ls, you should see uh, your package.json, your source uh, folder, and et cetera, everything that you see here, right? So you're going to do npm install Axios. And this, one, this one's going to be a little tedious, but I do want you guys to uh, to see... The whole the whole thing, right? So we're gonna install Axios here because I want to show you a few tricks real quick, and I really want to spend some time here because this is this is actually so quite important, especially for those of you watching in the in the future, right? If you are like a year or two, uh, right now it's October October 2018, but if you are like in the future, then uh, this is really gonna benefit you. Although. By then, I'm thinking that we might have React 17 already, so I might probably already done a, another one. All right. So that's going to take a few seconds there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. As you so I'm sure you guys know I, I stopped, I paused the video there because I didn't want to waste your time. So here's where I'm just going to uh, give you guys a little tip for the future, right? So as you saw, I did npm install Axios, which is the library that we're going to use for the API calls. All right. Now, if you're in the future, two things you need to keep in mind. Uh, obviously, there might be a new version and I have no control what gets deprecated or not in future versions. Very important. So you can do two things. You can do npm install Axios and you get whatever whatever's the latest version. Or you can do add 0 0.18.0, which is the version that I'm currently using as you can see here. Alright? So I just want I just wanna um, give you that Intel because this is really important for those of you again watching in the future, all right? So next thing that we're gonna bring is bootstrap and this one I'm just gonna bring at a very specific version, which is I think believe the one that the one that I'm, that I'm using for the course and I'm just gonna do it that way for the one the three all right it's just so you guys see that you can also invoke sp specific versions of a package Okay so I'm just going to let this install for a second. And basically, it just took a few minutes, or I'm sorry, a few seconds. And as you can see here, we do have 4.1.3. Now, if you get any of, th of this, of these uh, warnings here, you guys, I think you can go ahead and do npm install this, npm install this, npm install this. I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to do anything with jQuery. But anyway, um, so what I'm going to do here is going to clear out of here, right? And then I'm just going to do another another thing that we need to do for Bootstrap. 
But before we do that, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. If you come to No Modules and you scroll all the way down, remember, you don't touch anything here, right? You don't change anything, you don't touch anything, at least not for this little project. We're not. All right, so if you go to Bootstrap right here, and if you go to Dist, then you go to CSS, and then you go to bootstrap.man.css, this is basically what we're going to use. And I'm going to close out of this, and please, again, do not touch anything there. But um, this is basically what we need. That file stru structure or folder structure, uh, that's exactly what we need to import in our app.js, and that will enable bootstrap in our project. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste this from my notes just because I don't want to spend too much time like typing this. But this is basically what you guys, this line of code right here, this import, this is how you import bootstrap after you npm installed it. All right. So with that in place, then uh, I'm just going to run my app, npm start. Right, and it's gonna take a second or two. There you go. We're welcome to the. It says welcome to the project board. As you can see, it already looks a little different. And if I put a Bootstrap class, say uh, class name, right? Um, alert. Say alert warning. Which this is a Bootstrap class. And if I type that, if I type that correctly, then you have the Bootstrap class here. This is perfect. So we have Bootstrap already in our. In our project this is really good all right so the next one I'm just gonna stop the server here the next one we're gonna bring is class names npm install class names um, we're only gonna use this like once in the entire project but it's a really good library uh, it allows you to uh, set conditionals for your or at least a use case that we're going to uh, leverage class names for is that we're gonna have conditionals on our required fields so that so that if uh, if there's a problem or an error from the server, we can see it, right? So again, we'll see that when we implement it, but that's what we're going to be using that for. All right. So let me go back just back to package.js, and again, you see here that uh, we already have Axios, we already have Bootstrap, Bootstrap, and class names, and again, these here they, they came out of the box with when we did create React app. All right. Now the next thing that we're going to do is npm install and I'm gonna show you uh, another trick you can install several dependencies at the same time with the same npm install command so here we're gonna install redux I'm gonna install, install react dash redux which and this actually uh, it's the same as with npm install redux npm install react redux and npm install redux thunk which is what we're gonna be using for uh, dispatching Okay, so if I do that, it's gonna install all those three, all those three dependencies at once. All right, and as you can see, uh, now we have uh, Redux, Redux Thunk, and React Redux here. And the last one that we are going to install is uh, npm install uh, React Router DOM, and this is what we're gonna use for routing. Okay. So again, just give it a few seconds. The only the only reason why you guys see it that it's go, going so fast on my computer is not because I have a Super Mac, which I do, but <laughs> it, it is because um, I am pausing the video so that it won't take that long. Okay. So basically, here are all the dependencies that we that we need for this project. Uh, please make sure that you are working with the same dependencies. Uh, if you are take if you're using uh, later versions and it doesn't work for whatever reason, then I, I would suggest go back to um, to the previous version. If not, then you know you're gonna have to do some investigation of what was deprecated and whatnot, right? Okay, so here we have all of our dependencies now. Everything looks looks a okay. So I'm gonna, just gonna close out of it, out of here. We already have Bootstrap in our environment, so this is really really good. All right, so I just wanted to use this lecture to uh, set up the dependencies. In the next lecture, we're gonna get coding. Thank you.